Hello folks, welcome back to Diablo 3 Let's Play Hardcore. Uh, we cut off in the middle of a quest last time, so we're going to pick straight up uh, from the same point, which is trailing the coven. Now, we're getting close to the end of Act 1 here, but we need to play a little bit cautious because we are still on uh, Monster Power 2, and we are going for Cell Found, of course, which basically means we can only use gear we have ourselves found and this area can be tough even at the best of times so we're going to have to play things a little bit cautiously here especially with the kiting since I've just loaded the game up we're not going to have much in the way of well kiting space really because there's going to be enemies behind so let's kill some of these totems I don't know if they spawn things or whatnot but I'm just going to get back to town no I'm not I was going to heal but look there's a nice nicely placed health globe there We'll keep Ice Armour up, which we recently learned. We're level 14 now, so we are making progress. It's, well, Energy Twister's not brilliant, to be fair. It's, well, I say it's not brilliant. From a personal uh, standpoint, I'm not a big fan of spells that go off in random directions. I like some sort of control over uh, the situation. We're not destroying that tree today. Anything in here? Oh, I felt that. I do want to be cautious because I tell you, this little place wouldn't be the first time I've been killed on um, hardcore in this area. There's so many traps and stuff, especially on higher difficulties, but even on normal, when you're going for self found and they're only using rubbish gear, which is pretty much all I'm using. You've got to play it so cautiously. But the reason I'm still using MP2 is mainly not even for experience really because it doesn't make that much of a difference uh, when we could just grind anyway. But I'm doing it mainly for gear. That little bit of extra magic find, especially when you've got no magic find gear, it does make all the difference. I don't like these shaman, they have a nasty frozen orb style attack. Which isn't pleasant in any way, shape or form. Now we've got a belt that we can't use, so that sucks. Could do with a couple of champion packs to be honest. Although again, just want to be careful about how much we're pulling. Since if you're not careful in this area, you'll find hundreds of these clan warriors over you. And because it's quite a linear path, uh, you could end up easily getting trapped with nowhere to escape to. Hence why I'm just trying to clear as we go. And leave kiting room, so to speak, behind us. But I do kind of expect we'll be level 15 before we take on the final boss of this act. Which will mean we're about a level uh, ahead of the curve by that point then. These trees, of course, are as uh, nasty as always, so... Just kill everything around here so that we can come back and kite here if we need to. Right, what do we just loot? Something for Witch Doctor, not for us. Ah, must remember to keep Ice Armour up as well. I'm gonna remind myself exactly what it does once we've killed these. Reduces damage from melee attacks, well that's useful, and slows the movement and attack speed of enemies that attack you. Okay, well we'll definitely be using that while we have no other option in slot 3. Now we're looking for Leoric's Manor Courtyard. And I believe that will be in the next section of Highlands, not this one. Oh, and there's a champion pack, so I just want to be careful here that we don't get walled in. Again, we'll just keep kiting. Ah, uh, where did that tree come from? Must stay out of the poison. Well, the tree's dead, which is useful. I don't have enough arcane power. No, don't run out of arcane power, please, not at this stage. 
got a potion ready for when we need one. And a health globe. If we can freeze and grab that, then I'll be happy. And we can. Let's see if we can get anything with the energy twister. Nope. I'm not a massive fan of it. I know you can use the uh, critical mass build at level uh, 60. As long as you've got a high crit, but... I just don't think it's something I'm going to be too keen on, to be honest. Right, do we get anything nice? A two-handed staff, which uh, is worse than what we're using. And other than that, nothing at all. Yeah, I'm just taking a brief detour just to ensure that we're not missing any elite packs, but I'm guessing we can move on ahead into the next section now. If we just follow the path. I don't like these trees. Let's get rid of it. It's their poison. It's really quite mean. Oh, waypoints. To be honest, I don't actually really use waypoints all that much in Diablo 3. In Diablo 2, you pretty much use them all the time, but I'm not a big fan of their way, uh, the way they work in Diablo 3. Like, I've found that waypoint now, but if I reload from a, a lower quest, then I can't access it, which kind of sucks, because if you load a lower quest, even if you've already completed it before, you can't go farming anywhere else. I don't think it should be like that. To me, you beasts. Let none touch me. Bring Ice Armor back online. Need more arcane power. Ooh, got to be a little bit careful here because there's a nice big cluster of them. It would be nice to get some decent loot. I kind of get the feeling that Blizzard have uh, tuned the game for the auction house, which is a bit annoying, really, because the auction—it's not fun, really, to use the auction house. It is a lot more fun to find your own gear or to find gear that you can then trade manually with other players, but gear that you found, not just gold. I did prefer the way it worked in. Uh, Diablo 2. But with that said, it definitely seems like Blizzard have tuned the game so that if you go through the entire game and find one useful item, then you can consider yourself lucky because it seems that you are supposed to just use your gold to buy off the auction house. In Diablo 2, by level 14, 15, chances are you might have already found a unique item, which is like Diablo 2's version of Legendaries. They were existed throughout all the levels of the game, and it was a lot of fun trying to find them, even if they weren't brilliant. They were often a lot better than the stuff you was already using. And need to be careful here because this champion, not champion pack, elite pack, is trying to jail us, and that's scary when they can possibly one-shot us. So let's go and freeze them. Two down, two to go. Or oh, was that three down? Yep, last one. Oh, not good, not good. Oh, that was scary. An adventuring spell book and a coif of the bear. Uh, nine vitality. Not as good as what we're uh, currently using. And this would give us ten damage but lose us a lot of protection. Since this is hardcore, I'd rather stick with the protection. The Highlands Cave is not required for the uh, main story quest, but we are doing a little optional quest here to find Wright's brother. And we've got another champion pack, and it's another selection of the Berserkers that we love oh so much. And please will these walls disappear. Oh, move, move, move. Oh. I hate these walls. How could we get one... Uh, elite pack of berserkers with Jailer and now one with Wall. It just doesn't seem fair. I 
Hope we're out of range yet. Uh, still no yellow items. But that's okay. We can live with a two hand uh, sword, which is rubbish, and a one hand, which is also rubbish. So more salvage fodder. This is actually quite a long quest, this trail in the coven. When you think it starts with the spider queen and the spider lair, it does go on a little bit for a lengthy amount of time. I mean, it's no problem, it's just an observation I've just noticed. Now, I don't mind the uh, summoners because they're very squishy, but you do need to get them down before they start summoning their Helions or Dark Berserkers. Because boy, can they hurt. He's over here. I'll give him the antidote. I don't remember doing this uh, quest before. Ooh. Wow. Talk about lots of enemies spawning. Hopefully they're not going to summon anything. Oh, move out the desecration. We're going a little bit too far away now from the actual quest. Rackon. Vizier of the Coven. Goodbye. Whoa! What was we saying? A legendary. Let's get that before we disconnect. So this cell found is rewarding. You actually get excited when an orange drops. He'd be dead if it weren't for you, brave hero. Take these elixirs for your trouble. We're going back to town. Well, I must have done that before because I never got the achievement. Brothers should keep together. What makes you say that? Mm, nothing. Let's see what awesomeness we get. It's got to be better than four Vite. Ah, first legendary. And it's not too bad, actually. Uh, plus 40 life. Just under one to damage and a bit of extra protection as well. And we don't lose our magic find either. I think we'll be equipping those. I mean, they're not brilliant. If I was purchasing off the auction house, I'm sure I wouldn't be equipping them now. But we're not. So, as I said, self-found can be rewarding. Well, self-found, in fact, is rewarding. I just wish that you'd uh, get some decent items more than you do. Not, like, truly rare... Uh, Truly commonly, but not as rare as it is. So, yep, a nice worthy detour to the Highlands Cave. Another blue. See, it's all because we're using MP2. Doesn't make a massive difference to the difficulty of the enemies, but that bit extra magic find does help. Uh, yeah, I think we'll use that. Give us an extra 5 points of damage. We're now on 39 points of damage. And these things are just spawning out the ground everywhere. We've got three bubbles to go. That's not too bad. I do expect that we will uh, level up. At least I hope we'll level up before the end of this video. Should we just do a little bit more killing down here before we go into the next section? I mean, I don't expect we'll be getting a level per episode for much longer due to the amount of experience increase that's going to be taking place each time we level up. Let's hope I don't regret coming down here. Why don't we have ice armor on? I wish there was a warning saying ice armor is wa uh, wearing off. Ah oh, wow, there's trees coming all over the place. They are my nemesis, they really are.
weapon might be a champion pack or something around here. I don't like those. That's why we kill it. Always best to kill things you don't like in this game. Yep, here's a champion pack. I expect there to be another one before the end. Oh, bugger off, bloody trees. Please don't attempt to poison us. That just wouldn't be very nice when we're trying to uh, kill things. Oh, great combination. Jail. Tree puts poison down, we get jailed. Marvellous. Let's keep moving. It's probably the best course of action. We freeze that. Oh, well, that was rubbish. A champion pack that dropped nothing. Let's keep moving. Let's start heading towards where we're supposed to be going next. Which is Leoric's Manor Courtyard. We've now got 1100 life in total. Now this is more like it. Um, we've got a rare. I don't have enough arcane power. What is it with Jailer and Wall today? They seem to be the most common monster attributes. Couple of blues. What's our follower using? 15.7 points of damage, so nothing that any of this is going to improve. protection shrine. That could come in useful as we enter the courtyard. There's usually a few courses and you often get a champion pack or a rare, obviously we just killed one uh, in the courtyard or just inside the manor itself. Let's try and get rid of these berserkers, because I don't like berserkers at all. Hmm. Need to cast ice armor again. I'm unstoppable. Thought we had lag then for a moment, and it actually turned out that we didn't. Come on, we nearly got them all. These undead thralls are nasty as well. Well, our followers leveled up. Just us to go now. Rubbish. Who is hiding in the deserts of Chaldeum? Bring this news to the master at once. Hmm. A unique enemy. Also, you can get an item out of the fireplace occasionally, uh, which will help you towards your goal of accessing Whimsy Shire. Oh, 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 oh! Explosion! Explosion! We have just arrived in. A shield, uh, which isn't as good as the one we're using, in my opinion. Nothing in here but a dead plunderer with seven gold. We don't need a lot of gold. We've already got 400k. Some of that, of course, I brought from previous hardcore characters. I've never got very far uh, in hardcore, which is why I don't expect to uh, get very far in this playthrough. But I'm pleased we're still alive at level 14, coming up to 15. Okay, try and stay a little bit better at range, please. Delay him while I prepare his demise in the depths below. Ooh. Don't like these. Ah, we just dinged because we completed the quest. Wonderful. And we get impactful wave. 
Uh, where are we? Okay, so we get electrocute. Should we try electrocute for a bit? It's a bit random, and I don't like random, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, Ray of Frost. Uh... Okay, we'll try Ray of Frost for a bit. The townsfolk said this place was haunted, but it doesn't look so bad to me. Uh, I think we are going to switch to Wave of Force. I do actually prefer it to Energy Twister. So we've got Electrocute. Wave of Force, which we've already seen. And Ray of Frost. So now we can head back to town, since we've levelled up. And begin the process of salvaging. See if we can make anything. I'm not sure if we can yet. We've already got quite a few materials anyway. Let's have a look. Uh, about level 26. And about we are already... Uh, have equipped bracers no thank you we've got our nice legendary bracers rubbish rubbish yeah all rubbish the legs we're wearing are not actually too bad in all honesty shoulders I mean we could potentially get some better shoulders we don't really need strength all that much do we but it seems like strength is all they want to give you on shoulders. Plus 7 int. Hmm. Nah, I'm not going to bother crafting any more shoulders because we'd need int and bite in order for them to really be an upgrade at this level. Potentially we could get a better one-hander. Can we craft any ones yet? To be honest, I don't think we can. In fact, we can't seem to craft much of anything. Uh, oh, we could craft a level 15 wand, to be honest with you, but it's going to have to have some good stats on. 20, well, it is actually an upgrade. Plus 2 damage and plus just under 1 protection. That was lucky. We'll take that. And we're going to call the episode quits here, so we'll carry on next week as we continue to try and survive hardcore. And hopefully we'll take down the Butcher and then to Act 2 as well. So I look forward to that. Please continue to uh, support me by uh, sharing these videos with your friends, posting in the comments, let me know what you think, and subscribing to the channel as well. Uh, it all motivates me to keep going with our continuous Let's Play of Diablo 3 Hardcore and self-found as well which makes things interesting but as we've seen today we get a nice uh, legendary every now and then to make it worth it so thanks for joining me folks take care see you next week bye for now